Lyrical, and today I'm going to be making some peppermint bark. Uh, this is going to be the first time that I've made it, so we will have to see how it turns out. I'm actually really looking forward to it. So let's start off with the ingredients. You're going to need six ounces of white chocolate. I'm actually using eight, so it'll be alright. Um, you're going to need a pan with some parchment paper, a bowl to melt your chocolate, you will probably need, well obviously you're going to need some peppermint. So the recipe actually calls for three peppermint candy canes. Instead I am using some starlight mints. I thought those were a little bit better. So we'll see how it goes. You are going to want to smash up your peppermint. I took 12 and I smashed them up. I'm hoping that will be enough. If not, can always smash up more. No big deal. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is in a microwave safe bowl, you want to put all your chocolate in it. Chocolate in. Cannot talk. And <laughs> we are going to melt it for about 60 to 90 seconds. So, let's do 60 first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and while we're waiting, I want to go ahead and mention the Gamers and Geeks cookbook <laughs> playlist thingy. Yeah, that. Um, Hold on. So the Gamers and Geeks playlist. We want to mention that now. Um, it's real easy to... Not talk on, about, apparently. Shut up. To get onto it. Heather, I'm going <laughs> to you. Anyway, all you have to do, be a gamer, cook something up, make a video for it, let either Vault Girl or JPEG of Death know and send them a link. They'll get it right there onto the playlist for you. Okay, so this was after 60 seconds. Obviously, this is clearly not done yet. So what I'm going to do is pop it in for another 30 seconds and see what happens. Remember, you want to warm up your chocolate in short intervals because if you don't, it'll separate and get oily and you don't want that. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Okay, this is after 90 seconds, and it's not looking too bad. I think it'll be all right. Okay. Now. I've already crushed my, my uh, peppermint. So that is good. Now all you got to do, get away. There you go. Stir in your crushed peppermint. Aren't you supposed to save some to put on the top? No, I am not. Not at all. That's weird. I guess Ghirardelli spoiled me on that one. <laughs> yeah, maybe. What is it, those Lent bars or something? Oh, I don't know. I'm just making white chocolate peppermint bars. Alright. All in there? And with the force of Christmas magic. <laughs> Totally. Oh yeah, I'm gonna Use need the scraper, help with that. Girl. <laughs> mm, it smells really good, actually. I mean, it's chocolate. And it's white chocolate. Which scientific is he? Isn't even a chocolate because there's no cacao in it. We are so not getting into that. Because <laughs> <laughs> a when. We are so not getting into that. Uh, oh, good grief! All right. Kinda spread it out a little. Pixel can't hum a tune if her life depended on it. I changed the tone three times already. <laughs> <laughs> Merry right, you guys. Christmas. Okay. Dude, spread it's out not... that one side. It has like a whole butt shelf over here. It is so not perfect. That's for sure. You did it. 
It's not perfect, but you know what? Not all you gotta do. I'm sure once you eat it, it'll look great. <laughs> all you have to do now, stick it in the fridge for an hour. An hour? And let it harden up. All right, you guys. It's been a little over an hour, and I thought I would bring it all out and... All that's left now is for a final test. Let's jump into this and see how it tastes. Okay, this is actually pretty good. There are some slightly thicker chunks and to me that's just perfect. It actually set pretty well. Oh man, the flavor is just excellent. Definitely not an overload on peppermint or the chocolate or anything. Anyway, you guys, that is some holiday peppermint bark for you guys today. If you guys like this recipe, let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, yeah, definitely check out Gamers and Geeks playlist. And yeah, that is it for me. Y'all have a good one. Bye.